Welcome, Cancer. Hey, this is Renee. Welcome back. This is your reading. Uh, today we're going to take a look at love, money, and your general message. Okay, so we're going to dive deep, see what's going on. So, let's get started. Now, of course... If this resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't, make sure to take a look at your other placements or take a look at other readings, right? Um, I have playlists set up for you so you can take a look at uh, readings. My readings are timeless, so feel free to dive deep, okay? So let's take a look at what's going on for Cancer. We have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, so beautiful. At the bottom, we have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So you may be having these heart to heart conversations with someone very important to you, with someone who means a lot to you. Right. So that's very, very important to open up and discuss the things that are going through um, your life at the moment right so let's take a look at your money what's coming through for cancer we have a win-win outcome is in the forecast okay i'm liking that cancer okay and we'll get an angel card for your general message going on with cancer some rising Venus messages please A general message okay so we have beloved one we have Archangel Shamuel I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship okay beautiful you know we have this may be the one and you have the loved one, beloved one, you know, so your angels are guiding you through this situation. So this definitely could be a soulmate connection that you're currently in or that you are about to explore, right? So, okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what's going on with cancer. Messages for cancer and love. What's going on with the situation? I'm trying not to make this video go so long. Because lately they've been going like a half an hour or so. So I'm trying to... Uh, condense them a little bit. Right? Let me know if you like the, lo the longer reading. You know, it's totally up to you. Okay. Messages for cancer and love. Messages for love, please. What's going on with cancer? Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, so there's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of value. Right? There's someone who really, oh, the Queen of Cups. Someone really values your time. They're putting in a lot of support, a lot of nurturing. Okay? You may be taking on this Queen of Cups energy, um, Cancer. Or this may be another water sign that you're dealing with, Pisces or Scorpio. Or another Cancer. Right? But I feel like I feel like you're you're in this relationship and you are finding so much value. There's a lot of happiness here. I'm really liking that. Ooh, okay. Okay, so we have the three of cups. Okay, and the nine of wands. Wow, what's up with that? Setting your boundaries. Setting healthy boundaries. The Three of Cups energy. 
Are you in a relationship with more than one person, Cancer? For some of you, I believe this is true. For some of you, I believe that you're in a relationship with more than one. For others, I feel like this is just you being able to get out there and socialize. But setting healthy boundaries so that, you know, things are moving in the right direction, right? Because we have the chariot at the bottom. So I definitely feel like you could be literally moving, but I feel like, you know, you're following this flow. You're like letting things happen naturally. You're not trying to force anything. That's what I'm getting with this energy of the chariot. That's the main energy that I'm getting, right? Um, I do feel like there are things that are happening. There's a lot of stability here. This is a new beginning. And I feel like it's very stable. It's very valuable. It's something that you have wanting to create, right? You have wanted to create this relationship. And you wanted it to move forward and grow and I feel like that's exactly what it's doing. It's moving forward. It's growing. You're setting priorities. There's a lot of choices that you're making. And you really don't want things to change. Right? You're like setting this. Okay. We have the seven of wands. There is someone around you. This could be the other person's energy. Okay. But I feel like your full focus is on building, communicating. The communication may be a little lacking, right? Um, but I feel like you're working on it. But overall, I feel like you're really happy. You're in the situation that you feel like it's building. It's not quite there yet. It's not quite fully upright. It's not quite fully um, built. But I feel like you're building, okay? You don't want things to change. But you're going in the right direction. Hmm. Tell me more about this situation for cancer. Let's clarify this. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Give me a message. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Cancer? Okay. The Six of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. I feel like there's some kind of conflict. It could be about money when it comes to your significant other. It could be about their spending. Um, or it could be the energy that they're in. They could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But I feel like this person may not be very good with money. They're not very good with making those financial decisions right and that's kind of moving you in the opposite direction than what you want to go on so I, I feel like there's a need to have this conversation you know this heart-to-heart -heart conversation maybe about money issues if you are in a relationship with a significant other okay um I feel like that's the reason why this nine of wands is up here because you're you're trying to set boundaries. You're trying to set healthy boundaries of where you want this relationship to go. I feel like if you are in a relationship and you are setting the stage for um, the future, right? You're making plans for the future. Maybe there's something that you're saving. Maybe you want to move into a new house. Maybe you want to move into, you know, this new location but you're not able to do so because the money just isn't there yet because there's some kind of spending going on that just isn't doable for your situation okay so in order to turn this turn this uh six of swords upright we need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation on where these finances are going or what plans that we have for the future 
Okay, this could be your energy or someone else's. Okay, Cancer, but I feel like there's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that needs to be had so that you can move in the right direction. Because right now you're 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 moving in the opposite direction of something that you want. Okay. Um, hmm. Tell me a little bit more about this. Yeah, we have the Nine of Wands again. So, yeah, you're definitely setting up boundaries. And I feel like there's some there's some arguing. There's some fighting going on here. There's some kind of situation that needs a compromise. But I also feel like there's apologies. Someone's coming in with an apology and willing to take back the power. You know, someone is willing to um, let go of their power so that they can make this apology okay this could be your energy but i feel like you know it could be aries um but yeah there are boundaries that need to be made because there's a struggle definitely fives are struggles you know they're conflicts fighting you know it could be that one person is defending another person's actions with excuses, right? Um, but I feel like, you know, someone is in need of an apology here, you know? Someone may be a little bit more controlling than what they're used to. That could be this Aries. That could be the reason why this is here. Because the Aries um, is very powerful, but very authoritative, right? They take the lead. They you know, are this true leader. And sometimes they can come across as being very controlling, you know, wanting a certain action to be made. Uh, but I feel like this is like taking that power back, right? Tell me about, tell me about Cancer's money. Give me a message for Cancer's money, please. I feel like that's your only issue, though, as far as your relationship is concerned is money yeah look at this two of cups your money is tied around love right your money is tied to your love situation okay so it could be that you depend on each other for your finances if you're in a relationship but i feel like your money is tied to your relationship that's a big issue for you but we do have a win-win outcome in the forecast so things are going to work out okay um if you're not in a relationship this could be someone that you're partnering up with to create more income to go on a business venture you know and now look at this now we have the six of swords in the upright position so now you're moving in the right direction when it comes, when, when your full focus is on money, Cancer, you're going in the right direction. When it's focused on love, you're like, oh, i got to set these boundaries. I've got to, you know, I'm not going in the direction I need to go in. So maybe that's a little bit of confusion on your part. Maybe you're more focused on your finances than you are on your relationship. You know, maybe you're setting the right priorities for your um finances than you are in your love relationship because here we have you know setting those boundaries twice you know you have the nine of wands twice so i mean i feel like you know at this point you're setting your boundaries so high that it's starting to come it's starting to become defensive right but here you're going in the right direction right you're moving in the right direction you're not setting up huge boundaries you're just going with the flow of it you're going in the right direction so we also have the queen of pentacles here so i feel like there is some kind of increase um you are building on your finances you are becoming more stable um but i feel like there is something that you're nurturing you are trying to build something up okay um but there is also something that you're protecting okay 
we have the Queen of Wands. So I feel like you're taking a lot of action, okay? There are actions that you're taking in your situation, and that's very good energy. At the bottom, we have the Five of Cups. So I definitely feel like there may be something that you may need to release. Um, something that you may be kind of in doubt or feeling really, I want to say distraught, but I don't feel like it's that, that, that drastic. I feel like there's something that you're like grieving. There, there's something that you're sad about. There's something that, that you're letting go of that you're not ready to let go of because maybe you see it as a really big success. But um, there is this new beginning here. Okay? And I feel like that's going to become more revealed to you because these are the things that you really don't expect. Right? At the bottom of the deck. These are the things that you really don't see. You really are, are not seeing coming. But I feel like there's a lot of success and some kind of new beginning that you have. But these, this is going to be all fully revealed in time. It's just not there yet. Okay? So let's go ahead and clarify for Cancer. Let's get some clarity for Cancer for their finances. For money. What does cancer need to know, please? Okay. So we have the Two of Wands and the King of Cups. So I definitely feel like when it comes to your finances, I feel like it's time to plan. It's time to plan things out. It's time to work out the kinks and, you know, set things in stone, right? Set your intentions high and you're going to get a positive outcome. With the two of wands here, I feel like, you know, set your sights high. You know, set those good expectations. And with the king of cups, I feel like once you set those good expectations, the good things will be flowing, right? the the good things will be coming to you okay so I, I feel like once you set those intentions um they're going to start flowing we have the strength card on the bottom so being confident in your situation being strong bold and daring right be courageous because i feel like that's exactly what you need to do the, and i feel like there are a lot of things that you're focused on and i feel like when it comes to money I feel like the more things that you're focused on, the more things that can fail. So um, just be aware of that, right, Cancer? Because not everything is going to go go your way. But the thing is not to let the failure get you down because there's always another opportunity. Maybe that opportunity just wasn't right for you, right? And that beginning just didn't pan out because you wasn't ready for that beginning, that opportunity okay so i feel like there is abundance for you you know your abundance is coming in regardless i just feel like there's a certain opportunity that just isn't going to go the way that you think it is okay but i feel like you're very strong and capable okay so let's go ahead and take a look at your general message let's go ahead and take a look at your general message Sorry about my phone. It's just going off now. My youngest son is out of town. Um, touring colleges. So he's like texting me back and forth all these pictures and all these videos. <laughs> so I'm loving it. But I wish I could be there with him. But it's like this trip that he's going on with his friends so yeah let's get a message for cancer general message for cancer please so for your general message we had Archangel Shamuel I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship 
Okay, so I feel like there's guidance here. There's guidance coming forward for you, right? So we have, look at this, the Page of Cups, the World card, and the Devil in Reverse. So I feel like there's things that you're, you're letting go of. There's things that may have been biting you in the past that you're now moving past. You've like learned those lessons and now you're like letting them go. You're letting go of that negativity of that feeling of being bound to something, right? Um, but I do feel like there's a lot of love here, you know, but I feel like you're still carrying those past lessons with you with the with the devil being right underneath the world. Okay. Um, but this is a new cycle. This is a new beginning. This is, you know, going through these new lessons. You also have the strength card at the bottom. So I definitely feel like, you know, you have this lion energy. We also have the magician again. The magician has come out a few times in this reading. So I feel like you're actively creating. Okay. There's a lot of things that you're doing. There's new actions. Another card for new beginnings, the Ace of Wands. This is new passion, new action that, that's being taken. Some inspiration that is starting to unfold, right? Um, so I feel like there's a lot of things going on with you, Cancer. I feel like you are going to have to make some hard choices. There is going to be a hard choice that you need to make. The Two of Swords is some, sometimes a difficult choice. You know, not all choices are easy to make. And I feel like the Two of Swords energy, it takes a lot of thought and strategy to get through this choice. Okay. We also have the Three of Swords energy. So there's something that is going to be very, very hard to deal with. It may have to do with family, um, with this Three of Swords energy. And I feel like it's like putting you in this place. It's making you hold back. It's kind of making you making you retreat, right? You're kind of going within yourself. The, the, the Eight of Swords is being locked in the prison of your mind, right? So I, I feel like you're like battling your thoughts and your feelings. When it comes to this Eight of Swords. And it could have to do with some something that had you um, saddened. Or something that kind of broke, in, broke your heart. I feel like this does have to do with family. So the, there is something that you're going to have to struggle with. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're this is all going to be revealed to you. Okay, the answers will be coming. And, you know, you do end with a happy card. You do end with the sun. So I, I feel like when it comes to your general message, Cancer, the, and it's going to kind of feel like a roller coaster. But I feel like you're in the right direction because you do end with the sun. Right? So let's get a little bit of clarity for the situation. Tell me more about this situation for Cancer, please. My messages for Cancer. <clears throat> yeah, the Knight of Wands. So I feel like you may be traveling for something. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Two Knights. Wow. Travel and offers. Right? So I feel like you're kind of in between this moving ahead and feeling stuck. Okay? I, there's something that you're battling. And maybe this devil energy. Something that you're battling. Uh, because I, I do feel like there's something that you need to get done. But you're kind of in this stuck mode to where, okay, you may be procrastinating. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm starting to lose my voice here. You, you may be procrastinating on your situation. Maybe due to this devil energy. Um, but I feel like... You know, these nights are going in two different directions. So I feel like you could feel like you're you're being pulled in two different directions by a situation. Okay? Um, tell me more about this situation. Why does cancer feel like they're being pulled? 
why does cancer feel like they're being pulled? Oh, fears. An ace of swords. Well, actually, this is a good thing. We have the nine of swords and the ace of swords. <clears throat> so basically, cancer, this is what I'm getting. I feel like you're being pulled by old demons. By old thoughts and beliefs. By maybe fear and doubt. Right? Because we have the devil here. The devil's in the reverse. We have the nine of swords in reverse. And then we have the ace of swords in the upright. So I feel like what you're battling, what's being pulled. The reason why you're being pulled in two directions is because you are battling these demons. You're battling this doubt, this fear. This inability to do something due to this addiction or something that's binding you. But the good thing, Cancer, you have a breakthrough. This is a breakthrough. You finally have that aha moment, right? To where the answers become clear. You have the answers that you need. So I feel like you are able to get out of this stuck energy and finally move forward. You know, because we have this three of wands at the bottom. Okay, so you're waiting for something to happen. Yeah, you're, you're waiting for those ships to come in. You're waiting for that action, for the right time to take that action. But... Look at this. We have the, the Ten of Cups. But you do find the right opportunity. The right timing is coming forward. And you're going to have that time to soar. Right? I feel like you will be taking action. You know, you're just wait, waiting for the right time to do it. Okay? So you're not being a procrastinator. You're being strategic. Right? So, okay, Cancer. I'm getting it. Okay, so give me an angel card for Cancer, please. Angel card for Cancer. So we have care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved and offer a helping hand. You know, I feel like the angels are asking you to be someone's helpmate, right? To offer the help where it's needed. And we also have ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness and the light is here. So there's a lot of growing that you're doing. You may not feel it right now, Cancer, but you're, you're going through a lot of growth, a lot of expansion. At the bottom, we have experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Okay. So. Okay. Let's go ahead and get an angel number. For cancer. Let's go ahead and get an angel number. For cancer please. Okay. Ooh. I'm liking this. Angel numbers, 1111, intuition. So you are being guided. You're being divinely guided. I'm liking this a lot. Okay, Cancer, trust in yourself. Your inner whisper is working hard to let you know that it is guiding you. Listen in. What is it saying? Feel it. Where is it telling you to go next? See it. Close your eyes and allow. Trust the path you are on. Okay? And Cancer, your affirmation. My intuition speaks to me and I'll listen. I trust that all things are happening for a purpose. Okay? So beautiful. I'm really liking this beautiful, beautiful energy for you, Cancer. So we have the angel numbers 11 and 11. So you're being divinely guided into your situation. So use your intuition.
So use your intuition very wisely. Your intuition is going to lead you in the direction that you'll be going, right? So Cancer, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, make sure to take a look at your other placements. And um, until your next reading, my beautiful Cancer, many blessings to you, love and light.